what's going on guys in this video I want to show you how to read email using your ESP8266 and Node MCU firmware this means that you don't need a microcontroller to read the email all you need is your ESP and have Node MCU firmware installed so this is my email inbox this is the last message that I received that I sent to myself so I sent the email from this address to this address so I will be reading from this inbox one thing to keep in mind is that you need a an email account that uh, lets you access your email without using SSL so Gmail and Yahoo will not work the ones that I've tried that work are AOL and Time Warner Cable so right now I'm using a Time Warner Cable account these are my host name for Time Warner Cable I mean hold on a second since I'm reading email uh, I'm looking at the incoming mail, mail server which actually this time happens to be the same as the outgoing mail server but anyway this is the host that I'm connecting to at this port so this is a script I will give you the link to the script let me go ahead and show you how it works so uh, I also have a module that I created and I uploaded both the script and the module to my ESP so you do a file list you will see that the both scripts are there and they have the .lc extension because I actually compiled both of them and removed the ones with the Lua extension so I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, do the file that is the actual script so right now it's uh, all this information that you're seeing on the screen is information that the server is sending to the ESP and that was actually pretty fast as you can see this is the actual message that I retrieved all the other stuff is just debugging stuff I actually have a variable in my code called uh, debug so if you don't want to see all the other stuff that is not important just set this to false so this text actually comes from these three prints that I have so the body the body variable holds this string my subject string is this and my from string is this right here and it also includes uh, actually the from string so as you can see that matches what I have in my inbox right now So that is a script, I will be posting a link to it in my github page. The settings that you will have to change are these only. So this, just put your username or your email, actually put your email there because I use the email for, for other stuff and uh, this will be your password, like I said your email host name and your port and don't worry about this tag just leave it as it is or you can change it if you want but uh, leave it as it is for now this is your access points network name and password if you want to learn more about reading email I have posted some links in the module called IMAP like I said I will give you a link to both the module and the, the uh, script so you can see the commands that I'm sending in the module code and uh, but uh, if you want to make your own scripts or maybe a more advanced one do check out these links they were very helpful to me in uh, the development of this example so that's it for this video thank you for watching